What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you a product from Aomi who is also the sponsor of this video. It is the Aomi Cloner Tool and those of you who work in the IT industry or just kind of tinker with computers, fix them once in a while, you know how important a good cloning tool is. And this one is actually really cool. I've used it and I cloned a drive with it uh, just recently actually and it did very well. So I'm going to show you this today. If we take a look at their main page, link is down in the description below. Uh, right off the bat, you can see it's actually a very good price. Um, it, it is free to try, um, but if you get anything out of this, I highly urge you to buy a license, and they're very well priced. Lifetime for 60 bucks, that's, that's nothing. But let's scroll down a little bit. Let's see what you get out of this, and we'll just kind of brush on these a little bit here. So, system clone, you can, you know, if you have a, a hard drive and it's dying and you don't really want to wipe, put a new drive in and wipe that drive out and reinstall everything, you can quickly clone that drive, the old drive to the new drive, and just pop it in your computer. You'd be good to go. Um, this will make a uh, exact mirror image of a drive here. I did that this morning actually. You can actually do partition clones, which is pretty cool. Edit partitions, SSD alignments. I mean, the list goes on and on, guys. You can even do a command line thing here. Uh, but anyway, if you want to try this out, go ahead and get it downloaded. Again, link is in the description below. I'll go ahead and minimize this here. And as you see, I've already have mine open here. So uh, we're gonna put this to the side here and let me bring up my file explorer. Let me drag this over here and let's resize this here. So as you see, I have these two drives. I have an F drive, uh, which has a little bit of data and a G drive. We're gonna be working with these drives today just to show you a little bit of, uh, like a demo of how this works. But first, let's kinda of take a look at the software itself. As you can see, it's very clean, very user-friendly. Uh, looks like it's pretty easy to understand. And so, there's some options right off the bat, but first, let's show you over here. This will show you here what kind of license you have and allow you to put in your key for your license if you purchase one. But if we click on this here, you go to regular settings and it just brings up basic regular stuff there. Um, really no brainer on that one. You can reset it if you want to. If we click on this again, uh, if you bought just a, you know, a one year license and then you decided you love it so much that you wanted to buy a lifetime license, you'll get a new key. That's where you will update it. Um, check for updates. That's an obvious one. It'll go out and check if there's any updates to the Aomi cloner. And reload here. Um, this will come in handy. Say, for instance, we're in the tools here, or I'm sorry, like disk clone, and you see your disks here. If you plug another one in, it's not going to immediately pop up in here. Um, so you'll have to go here and do reload, and then it will show your new disks. Um, so that just keep that in mind if you're adding one. Um, and that's that's about it. And then this is about and it tells you what uh, version you're on and stuff like that. So anyway, guys, if we want to do a full system clone, again, you have a hard drive that has your operating system, everything, settings, partitions, whatever, whatever. Um, and you want to clone that, say it's a mechanical drive and you want to switch to a solid state. This would be where you go for that. I'm not going to demo that today. Uh, just because I don't have one of those drives unless I wanted to do that on my primary, which I don't. It would take too long. Uh, but this is where you would go for that. You would just first select your new location. Uh, so that would be your new drive. And then it'll ask you to select your source, etc., etc. Easy enough. But let's go back. Here's the one we're going to do today. I'll point this out that you can do a partition clone. Um, and so you can select partitions that you want to clone. Um, so... I have never done that. I don't see a need to do that for me personally. Others might uh, have a reason to do that. I don't. Uh, but if you do, uh, just go ahead and mess with that side of it. But I'm going to concentrate on this disk clone here. And so like I showed you over here, 
I have the F and the G drive. F has a little data on it, G does not. So I want to clone the F drive. So easy enough, it says right here, select the disk that you wish to clone. And I want to clone the F drive. So I'm going to scroll down and there's the F drive. You see the data on it there as well. And I'm gonna go next. And then it's gonna ask me what disk I wanna put it to. And that's gonna be the G drive. So scroll down till I see G. Then we're just gonna hit next on that. And it will pop up this little thing and it basically kind of tells you what's gonna happen afterwards and during and stuff like that. So, um, and take that right there, make sure you understand that, that if you are cloning to a disk, to a drive, make sure that your destination drive has no important data on it because it will wipe it out. So this is basically telling you that and asking you if you want to continue. I do want to continue, so I'm going to hit OK. And so here's a moment that we can take just to verify what we want to do. Um, this is our source disk, disk 4, and we were going to 3. I believe that's what it was back there. Um, if these are SSDs, you can do the SSD alignment down here, sector by clone and stuff like that, and edit your partition. So really helpful tool. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this. Um, anyway, so once you are sure that this is what you want to clone from and to, you simply hit the start clone. Now, depending on the size of the disk that you are cloning, depending on the speed of that disk, and depending on how much data is on that disk, it can take a fair amount of time. I don't have much data on this disk, as you can see. Um, I've still got 54 gigs free of 57. These are 64 gig uh, flash drives is, is all they are. I'm just using this for the demo. Uh, but anyway, it will go through this and once it uh, completes, you will be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and let this complete. I'm not going to hold you guys hostage while it does that, but we will be right back when this is done. All right, guys, so all in all, that took only about four minutes. Uh, the last part, once it hit 60%, next thing you know, I look up and it says right what it says here. So. Uh, once that's done, let's just go ahead and click finish. And if you look over here, you now see that the G drive has data just like the F drive did. So if we look at the F drive, um, that is the data that is there. That portable apps thing keeps popping up there. I'm not really sure why I didn't put that on there. I'll have to look into that. Uh, but if we look at the G drive, we have the same data there. Um, so it did a very nice job of cloning that and getting that data over there quickly. Again, you know, it's going to depend on how much data you have moving and how big that drive is. For me, 3.37 gig and it moved in about four minutes. So that's actually not, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So anyway, guys, again, link is in the description below. AOMI Cloner. I highly recommend it. And they're not making me say that, um, but it is an honest review. I really like the software and I will be using this for quite a while. So anyway, guys, if it's helpful, thumbs up, please, and consider subscribing. Thanks, guys.